Hey guys, welcome back to Rare is Beautiful. It's Winifred here and today's video we're going to be talking about feminine hygiene. But before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much to my to 100 and something subscribers. I'm really really like grateful. I know 100 sub, 100 subscribers seem so small, but nobody understands how confusing this journey is for me and I'm just grateful that, you know, I have you know 100 people subscribe to my channel so as i was saying in today's video we're going to be talking about feminine hygiene and i remember writing a blog post about this some time ago I, um if you don't know that i have a blog i have a blog it is a beauty and lifestyle blog just like my channel and it is where it's beautiful the core the link is always in this in the description bar below um i wrote a blog post about this and it was talking about uh, I, I titled the let's talk about the vagina <laughs> and i know different people message me and like why did i choose that title i just enjoy making other people uncomfortable like when i say the word vagina it makes me happy because i people just cringe i'm like why are you cringing you have a vagina if you're a girl so relax the first tip i'll i'll say for taking care of or just for feminine hygiene is to study your body when, when i say study your body like know your body so just how your body reacts to certain things and certain products well, like when you're on your period how do you feel what happens to you does your um like the area down there does it expand does it you know shrink? like sometimes you just have to know how your body feels when you're ovulating when you're on your period what are your symptoms so because when you study your body you're able to know what is different like when something is different and that and it doesn't seem right you're able to like um visit your doctor and say you know this is how i used to feel when i'm on my period or this is what i used to feel when i'm ovulating or when i have sex and now i'm feeling very very different and i don't know what it is you know it's it's way it's way bigger than just like knowing that you know this is when this is the time of the month i'm on my period or this is the time of the month i'm ovulating or trying to be safe from not getting it's way bigger than that it's studying your body so well to know when something is wrong so that is very 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 important second tip i want everyone to know is that down there has a distinctive smell everyone has a smell there is obviously it's not going to be smelling like you know spoiled egg or you know bad like spoiled milk or something like it's not going to smell like that but definitely obviously if it smells like that then there's something wrong but there is a distinctive smell it, it doesn't just smell like like normal skin the third tip i have is to decide what shaving method works for you everyone cannot shave with um, a shaving stick and everyone cannot actually use a shaving cream so you have to decide what was for you because some people's skin are more sensitive than others so sometimes using shaving stick can be a problem and because everyone uses shaving stick doesn't necessarily mean that you have to if you are confused about like what to do and you know what you, you, you are scared it's, it's okay if you can if you ask your doctor or your gynecologist gynecologist but the thing is that if you if you keep using shaving stick and you feel like you are having like bombs you're reacting to it you know that you should stop and find another method that works for you some people wax some people you know there are different methods to shave in so figure out what works for you and stick to it because you do not want like a very 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 weird looking you know it is very important that after you shave you moisturize that area you moisturize the surface please not insert any product in your vagina moisturize the surface after after shaving because when you shave yeah um your skin is quite dry so you have to give it moisture just because you 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 don't want to start flaking around there you should avoid using scented or medicated soaps to wash down there the vagina the thing about the vagina is that it cleanses itself you, it cleanses itself that means it is self-cleansing if that is that is that explanatory enough you do not have to actually put, use soap and insert obviously you can wash the surface area but like when you people some people you know tend to like scrub in there and like um use their soaps in there sorry my hand is like just describing everything to me and i'm just imagining it when you put your soaps in there it is your your, your vagina is very very sensitive that's number one like i feel like it's it's a very very sensitive area you do not want to strip it off its moisture and, and you know you, you like you make it so dry when you use all these um soaps and on that thing about scented soaps and medicated soaps that obviously it is not good for sensitive skin because of the fragrance you don't want to use that inside your you know inside that area you want to use it on the soap if at all you're using anything scented or medicated you have to use it on the surface it is okay to just use water to wash down and again 
this applies and this applies to feminine wash also a lot of people try to use um the fem fresh summer's eve and all of that it is it is not terrible to use all these products but you should limit it this is not something that you should use every single day to wash down there you can use water water is fine i, I repeat water is fine to wash down there all these products you can use them once a week or like once every two weeks just to keep it fresh to maintain the ph balance of your vagina and that is it you do not have to use it every single when it feels too dry it feels the need to create more moisture for itself and then that's when you start having yeast infection and the rest does that make sense you dry your underwear under the sun or like using a dryer just dry it with using heat because it's obviously it's like uh when you heat tends to like get rid of germs and for the obvious reason get for the obvious reasons it gets rid of germs and stuff like that and when you dry your underwear in like in using heat it helps to obviously get rid of germs and you know you're not having you don't have like a damp underwear you're not sure if it's cold if it's dry or not with heat it just helps like make everything dry and people in nigeria a lot of people feel like like your your people from the village will come and like you know use your underwear as a way of i don't know your people in village attacking you but just if you know you're not you're skeptical about drying your underwear outside some people do not like it you can dry using you try to use a dryer to dry your underwear it is just important to use his sleep without underwear what are you sleeping with underwear for like why are you sleeping why like your vagina everywhere like that area down there you just want air like it is so relieving to sleep naked it is very amazing it is it is amazing i don't know why you would want to suffocate you know yourself sleep freely if you're not your period if you're not you know if you're not your period i feel like that's the only time that you should have on that way going to bed sleep naked it is amazing if you feel like you cannot necessarily um sleep with that underwear try and wear something really 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 loose like extremely loose. do not insert your your fingers in your vagina while washing i even saw it here on youtube some someone was saying that it is very important to like insert your finger and just clean that area please when you pee you are releasing a lot of things from your vagina even when you're on your period you realize that when you pee everything falls off when you wash everything falls out so you do not necessarily need to start inserting your fingers into your vagina what even if you feel like your hands are clean you've washed it and everything you're just you are making your you're making that area so so sensitive and when you when sensitivity is always prone to more germs and more infections even if you're having um i know some people will say well you do foreplay and um during that you people finger and all of that yes and like let's not act like that that does not happen it does but that's why it's so important also that <laughs> when you finish having whatever you do it's important to pee just because it is very sensitive even when you're having sex it's very sensitive that area is very sensitive so obviously you do not want to that's not what you should be doing morning and night imagine having your back morning and night and then you insert your fingers in your vagina to clean it up it doesn't it does not just make any sense it is not advisable it is not good my doctor actually told me like that is wrong you should not do that because it is self-cleansing google it but you guys cutting on that way is so important it is so good i have this um i have this on that way here that someone got me the color okay someone got me and um it's lace which is not bad lace is quite breathable in a way but it is it, what's very important is like the area where the area that touches um down there should be cutting like it should be cutting like because cutting is more breathable you there's air you know going in and you're not suffocating that area um it, materials like silk is not good for you because it is very very it, it's not breathable so obviously it is not advisable to wear that down there. imagine wearing silk and then putting on clothes there's no air around that area your vagina actually loves air if you've not noticed so because when you wear tight things and when you wear imagine when um a silk underwear and then you wear a tight trouser or whatever or like some women that actually have to put on extra like put on tights and stuff like that you are actually you know there's so much moisture and heat in that area excess moisture obviously leads to yeast infection more infection because it is irritated the vagina is irritated about for like is irritated by all the moisture that is there the heat so it's it, you start having more infection so that 
you know if that makes sense I, i'm hoping that i'm explaining this in the best way possible and on that tip i have and this is what i am learning also is to take more supplements probiotics and include fruits in your diet because what you eat is very very important drinking more water and stuff i am really really struggling with um the fruit parts because i do not necessarily i love fruits but i just don't remember to take them all the time and i do take su supplements but i think probiotics is something i really want to include in my you know daily routine because a lot of people have have researched and it is quite good for you there are so many videos on youtube here about feminine hygiene and there are some things that you can learn and there are some things that obviously you should not take with you because not everything works for you know your skin know the kind of skin you have if you are very sensitive try to avoid a lot of things and know what works for you so those are the tips that i have on feminine hygiene i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're not already subscribed please subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed like this video and share with your friends give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye